hello guys welcome to how to fix that in this video guys we are going to fix the network related issues is wi-fi related issues is on our windows 11 pc or the laptop okay so let's start without wasting our time so first of all we will troubleshoot this issue and we need to press window plus r button together and type here ncpa.cpl and hit ok once you hit ok go to the wi-fi connected icon right click on that and go to its properties and go to internet protocol version 4 and go to its properties and now you need to make sure that there is no manual ip here if you are getting the manual ip you can search like obtain an ip automatically and in the alternative DNS, typer 8.8.8 and alternative DNS 8.8.4.4. This is the Google DNS. It should work. Okay, I have manually configured the IP. This is the private IP, so doesn't worry about the it's an automatic IP or the manual IP. Okay, so click on OK and click on close option. Once this is done, check if you are able to access the Wi-Fi or not. If still not, you can go to the this Wi-Fi connected icon, right click and disable this option. Disable it first and then right click and enable this option. Okay. And you can also troubleshoot this issue like click on diagnostic this option. And this is going to the internet. So my PC is connected to the internet. That's why it is getting to the Microsoft account. So you just need to click on that and click on diagnostic it will try to resolve your issue automatically okay so this is the second method you can try also if still not working what you can do is we need to go to the device manager and we need to make sure that the wi-fi driver is there the driver is the main component to run any like services like the speaker icon or the wi-fi icons open the device manager and after that, you need to scroll down and look for network adapters, this option. And you can see, this is my wireless adapter. We need to right click on that, update driver, browse my computer since you are not connected to the network. And you need to select the updated driver here and then click on next option. Here. Okay, it will reinstall the driver automatically. And we need to wait. Okay, the Wi Fi driver is successfully updated. Click on close. And once this is closed, you just need to restart your system and check if your issue is solved or not. If, if still not solved, you can right click. Okay, and click on disable. Disable it and re enable it. You can also click on uninstall and uninstall the driver. But I don't suggest you to like uninstall it. Before that, create a restore, then uninstall it. Many users have reported that after uninstalling, the driver is gone. Okay, so it is not recommended. But you can also try that option. Okay, if still not so, what we can do is we need to reset our network setting. So press window plus R button together and type our control and directly open the control panel or you can go to search bar then you need to select here the large icons like this and after that you need to look for networking related setting network and sharing not this option network internet options okay and after that go to advanced tab here and click on restore advanced setting click on apply and after that go to connections and make sure there is no LAN IP or configure it. it should be automatically detected if there is any proxy and all it is filtering your data and inbound traffic and outbound traffic as well so make sure it is selected automatically click on ok and once it is done it should fix your issue okay so this is step these are the steps you can troubleshoot if you have still issue, you can reset your network 
go to search bar type for network reset you will see the network reset option and click on reset now and your wi-fi driver will be reset and you need to re-enter the wi-fi password and after that your issue should fix okay so this is how you can troubleshoot this issue so let's say if you don't have the driver inside your device manager so you need to go to the manufacturer website and install the driver from there i will show you how to reinstall the driver from there i am using the dell laptop here so type a dell driver download okay so you need to type a hp driver download this option and go to this option first link and after that put here the sn number but in case in this case you need to have the access to the internet so you can do the t3 or you can use the lan cable in this case or you can use the other system in this case and then install the driver and insert it to the pen drive and install in the the issued pc so type here wmick wmic bios get serial number together like this and hit enter once you hit enter just select that and copy that or enter it enter it it will copy and then just paste it search okay and then click on this option find drivers and it will automatically detect the driver actual driver for our wi-fi let's wait it is loading the some information regarding the system okay you can see here now you will see here the two option latitude or the this pc i recommend you to choose this option this pc and you can see this driver is wi-fi and the bluetooth driver just install it download it and then reinstall it and restart your system your issue so this is how you can troubleshoot the issue if wi-fi is not in your system so hope your issue is fixed now if your issue is fixed then hit like subscribe and share thank you thanks for watching how to fix that